Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I will show you a complete guide on how to root your OnePlus 8 series. With the help of this video, you can root your OnePlus 8, 8 Pro. By the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We had lots of questions asking about rooting OnePlus 8 series running Android 11. So here I have my OnePlus 8 which is running on the stable version of Oxygen OS based on Android 11. These are the software information where you can see Oxygen OS version is 11.0.2.2 and this is the latest build as of now. If you guys want to root your device, make sure you take the entire backup of your device including internal storage because rooting process includes unlocking bootloader which will entirely wipe your data from the device. In this video, we'll start from initial. First one will be we need to create an patch boot image. Second one unlocking bootloader and third rooting the device. After that you need a PC and your device. On your PC you need few files and these are the boot images. All the boot images can be found in the description below and in future if you are rooting a different version of Oxygen OS, make sure to use the correct boot image. So these boot images are of Oxygen OS 11.0.2.2 and Oxygen OS Open Beta 4 based on Android 11. And in upcoming days, if we get Oxygen OS Open Beta 5 or Oxygen OS 11.0.2.3, whatever version it may be, make sure to use that specific boot image from that OS. And I'll keep updating the boot images whenever we have the new software update. So here you can see I have boot image of OnePlus 8 stable channel, OnePlus 8 Pro stable channel, OnePlus 8 Beta channel and OnePlus 8 Pro Beta channel. Then you need a Magisk Manager and ADB Setup. So let's install ADB drivers on a PC first. It's a .exe file, double click, grant permission and follow the on-screen guide. So it's asking to install ADB and fastboot, type Y and hit enter. Then install ADB system wide, type Y again hit enter. Then it will ask you to install device driver, again type Y and hit enter. A new windows will pop up, tap on next and when you see ready to use under status that means ADB drivers have been successfully installed. Just tap on finish and this window will be closed. After you have successfully installed ADB drivers then you should find a folder of ADB inside your C drive. If you are installing for the first time you will see only these 4 files available but as I have different devices so I have created subfolders. So ADB drivers have been successfully installed. Here I have my OnePlus 8 folder because today we are rooting OnePlus 8 and I have placed all the boot images here. Now first thing is to create patch boot image. For that what you have to do is you need to copy Magisk Manager and the boot image. Paste those files inside internal storage. First let's install Magisk Manager and always use the latest Magisk Manager tapping on install open and now again you need to tap on install inside magisk manager select the third option which is select and patch a file open up internal storage and select boot image so this is the folder in which i have the boot image of latest oxygen os stable version which is 11.0.2.2 as i am running stable channel on my oneplus 8 we'll select this and tap on let's go this will create an patch boot image Once it's done, you can close Magisk. Now on your PC, open up internal storage of your device and inside download section, you should find the file which we recently created which is Magisk underscore patch. Now copy this file and place it in the ADB folder. As I've created a subfolder, so I'll paste it here. So now we are done with the initial step which is creating patch boot image. Now moving on to a device, Go to settings, about section, tap build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Go back, go to system, developer options. From here first enable OEM unlocking. You can also enable advanced reboot and USB debugging. If you get any pop up just allow the permissions. And now press the power key and boot your device into fast boot mode or bootloader mode. Once your device boots into fast boot mode you can see device state is logged. So now we need to unlock the device first. Before proceeding, make sure to take backup of your device. Now moving on to a PC, inside ADB folder we need to open up command prompt. And it doesn't matter if you open up command prompt inside the subfolder. But you need to make sure that subfolder is inside ADB folder. Simplest way to open command prompt is type cmd in the address bar. cmd and hit enter. This will open up command prompt. First we'll check whether a device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not. For that give a command fastboot devices 
and hit enter. This will show you in serial number which means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Now let's give a command to unlock the bootloader. For that command is fast boot OEM unlock. And once you hit enter, you'll see a message on your device giving a warning of unlocking bootloader. Make a selection using volume key. As we are unlocking a device, so I'll select unlock bootloader. To confirm, I'll press the power key. Now my device will boot into recovery and perform a factory reset. After your device boots up, just complete the initial setup. After completing the initial setup, now once again go to settings, about section, tap on the build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Go to system, developer options and as you can see we can't make any changes under OEM unlocking because device bootloader have been already unlocked. Enable advanced reboot and USB debugging. Again if you get any pop up, allow the permissions and now again boot your device into fast boot mode. Long pressing power key, tap on these three dots and select bootloader. And now you can see under device state it says unlocked that means a device bootloader have been successfully unlocked. And now moving on to a PC, inside the command prompt we'll again check whether a device have been properly connected in fast boot mode or not by giving the command fast boot devices. Hit enter as you can see the serial number which means device have been properly connected in fast boot mode. And now we need to give a boot command. For that command is fast boot boot followed by this magic patch boot image which we created. So you can just copy the name of this file as it is and inside the command prompt you can paste it by right clicking followed by .img and hit enter. Now your device should boot into system and after that we'll again come back to fast boot mode. And as you can see a device again booted into system after giving that boot command. Now let's again boot a device into fast boot mode. Tapping on bootloader We'll again check whether device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not by giving the same command. And now we need to flash this boot image on both the slots, which is slot A and B. So for that command will be fast boot flash boot underscore A and we'll copy the name of the patch boot image. And we'll paste it here. We'll add .img as it's an image file and hit enter. Once this is done, now we need to flash the same file on slot B. So instead of A, you can just change it to B and hit enter. And that's it. Now you can reboot your device manually or you can give a command fast boot reboot and hit enter. Now your device will boot into system. After your device boots into system, just side load the Magisk Manager APK inside the internal storage. Tap on install. And along with that, you can also sideload root checker application. So let's open up Magisk Manager. And here you can see it says installed. And here we have the version of that. Now you can easily download and install modules. Let me also open up root checker application. Tapping on agree, verify root. And it will ask for super user permission. Just grant that. And here you can see, congratulations, root access has been properly installed on your device. So guys, this way you can root your OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, but you just have to make sure that you are using the correct boot image. Because initially even I faced lots of issues as I wasn't using the correct boot image. So if you have an EU device, make sure you use that particular boot image. If you have an Indian variant, make sure to use a boot image from Indian builds of Oxygen OS. And if you still face any kind of issues, let me know in the comment section below. So guys, that's it in today's video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.